Hello, my name is Dottie Dorset, and I'm a visiting teller of tales. Today, I would like to read a book that I have read quite a number of times to my grandchildren. It is called Bear's Loose Tooth. It's written by Karma Wilson, and it's illustrated by Jane Chapman. Let's get started on this, okay? Bear's Loose Tooth. From a cave in the forest came a munch, munch, crunch, as Bear and his friends all nibbled their lunch. And Bear does have a lot of friends. If you'll notice, there's a rabbit, there's a bird, there is a badger, looks like a gopher, and I don't know, I think that's another bird over here. Your guess is as good as mine. Bear savored every bite he gulped. He gobbled, and then there in his mouth, something wiggled, and it wobbled. As Bear nibbled food, something moved when he chewed. It was Bear's loose tooth. Have you all had ever had a loose tooth? Have you lost a tooth? Well, this is going to help you to understand what goes on. Bear pointed in his mouth, and he said, Oh, dear, my tooth feels funny. It's the one right here. Bear frowned, and he worried. Tears welled in his eyes. But how will I eat if my tooth says goodbye? Do you think Bear was scared? I think he was. But that's okay. Hair, hair, that's another word for rabbit, said, open wide. Then he looked inside and saw bear's loose tooth. Mouse squeaked, don't fret, don't fuss, look. See, a new tooth will grow where the old used to be. We'll help, said Wren. Wren's this bird. Now, it's nice to have friends because they will help you when you need help. I know what to do. It's out with the old and in with the new. Wren perched on Bear's lip, and he got a good grip on Bear's loose tooth. Wren pulled on the tooth with all of his might. Is it out, asked Bear, but it stayed stuck tight. I'm a bit too small for the job, said Wren, so I'll grab the tooth. Owl's a little bit bigger than Wren, but the tooth stayed in. Badger said, this is what Badger looks like. He likes to dig holes in the ground. Badger said, I'll try, and he gave a big pry on Bear's loose tooth. And even Hare was helping him, and even Wren was helping him. They all took a turn, but the tooth wouldn't budge. Then Bear used his tongue, and he gave a little nudge. His tooth wiggled two and four. Then what do you know? Bear's tooth fell out. And this is what it looked like. That's a big tooth. I'm glad I don't have a tooth that big in my mouth. Bear danced a big dance. Bear grinned a big grin. Bear held up his tooth and he showed all his friends. Bear looked in the mirror, and he laughed at his smile. A new tooth would come, but it might take a while. That night in bed, Bear, right next to his head, lay Bear's loose tooth. Can you see it on that plate right next to his head? 
while he slept and he snored, a fairy fluttered in. Oh my, that's what a tooth fairy must look like, don't you think? The fairy fluttered in and she left blueberries where Bear's tooth had been. He woke in the morning and he found the sweet treat. Bear's friends came for breakfast. They sat down to eat. Bear gulped and he gobbled and he felt something wobble. Uh-oh. Bear had another loose tooth. Now I know that is very, very scary to lose a tooth but that means that you are growing up. I hope you enjoyed this book. I would love it if you would come to the library. There are lots of books to read. You can learn so much, and I hope you will always continue to read, read, read. This is the Visiting Teller of Tales.